point. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're, um, we're really struggling here. This is not easy. So can I ask everyone to put their pens down? No. And I want you to look up with me um, as I try to work out and reveal an answer for you. Okay. Now, this is really sneaky because um, some of you have asked me, like, oh, which formula do I use? And I've, like, people are throwing numbers at me. And at this point, we're sort of getting it to like, uh, it's like, is it 18? Is it 17? I don't know. I'm just going to randomly throw out numbers. That's a sign. We don't understand the question. So let me try and unpack this for you. Hit pause. I really need all eyes up because I, I need you to think closely about this. Okay? Go back to the original information we know in the question. How far apart are the two, well, sorry, I should say, are the first stop and the last stop? What's the distance? Uh, it's 10 kilometers, right? 10 kilometers. Okay? Now, let's just say, let's just say these are the only two stops. Right? So we've got n would equal, in this case, n would equal 1, 2. There's two stops, right? Yeah. And then there's a 10 kilometer distance between them. Now we know, in fact, that n is not 2, it's something else. But just stay with me. Let's just suppose, okay? Suppose there were three stops. This is two stops. Let's just add one more stop in the middle, okay? What would be the distance between each of the stops? It'd be 5, right? 5, 5. But hold on a second, three stops, a lot of you are taking this number, 10 kilometers, and you're dividing by the number of stops there are, but that does not give you five, does it? Right? So what's going on? What's going on? We're off by one, in fact. Does that sound familiar? Where does this off by one come from? It comes from the n minus one in here, right? So how do we actually fix this? Well, I've got 10 kilometers, right? I'm dividing by n minus one. The n is the thing that I don't know, right? How many stops are there? There are actually 11, right? Now hold on a second, hold on. Is this actually equal? 11 is actually this number here, isn't it? Isn't that where it should be? Now I'm highlighting this because one of the reasons why you're all getting like, someone gave me like 99 or something, like Whiff, that can't be right. There are only 10 kilometers from end to end, they can't be 99 kilometers apart. Our problem is we're not thinking carefully about where our numbers go. That's not where 11 goes. 11 goes here, okay? That's 11. This is the common difference that we're working out. Does that make sense? So the common difference is 10 divided by 10, which is, which of course makes sense, because look, if I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stops, each one, the gap, there are 11 stops and 10 gaps between them. The gap is what you're actually interested in. That's the one kilometer. Does that make sense? Now this is, this is counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive. Because what we want to do, what we're confusing is um, the number of gaps there are, each of which is a kilometer. The question was, how far apart are these stops? What you were counting was, how many stops are there? Not, you were counting these things, not these things, right? How many of these gaps are there? There are 10, which is why you get a difference of one. You were close. You were close. But, but you were wrong in a critical way. So there's close and then there's, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just revisit this question one last time. I think what a conversation we were having at the front here with a few of us might actually be very helpful for all of us. So can I ask you to, laptops off, but have your books there and I'd love you to write along with me to see what's going on, okay? Can I get your brain, this will be the last thing we do and then the bell will go. I want to get your brain back in this problem. So what we did was, just to review, we worked out that there were 11 stops where the truck was going to drop its gravel and then what we were trying to work out was this distance between them, okay? Now some of you looked at me and you're like, that's weird thinking about gaps and there's always one less. That is confusing. So I want to show you how you can use this formula to actually get this answer which requires a little bit less like thinking but you still have to interpret carefully. Here's the way it's going to work. We'll start with that formula. It says the sum of n terms. That's the whole journey that we're interested in. What was it, by the way? The truck traveled how far? 550. 550? 
I believe it was, okay? Now, that's the total journey. We've already worked out how many journeys it takes over time. It takes one journey for every single one of the stops that it takes. So far, so good? So I'm gonna write, instead of n on two, I'll write 11 on two. That's how many journeys it took, n equals 11. Then I fill in the rest of it. Now, when I write in 2a, what am I counting as one journey? It's there and then back. The very first one, A, is... I've got to get to 20 and then back. So a round journey is 40. So this is going to be 80 that I'm going to write in here. So far, so good? I already know, I substituted in, what 11 minus 1 should be equal to. That's the N minus 1. So I'm going to write in 10 there. Are you okay with that? Do you see where I got 10 from? It's 11 minus 1. And then this is the question I was really asking, right? What's the common difference, the gap between each of them, okay? Now, help me out here, guys. What am I going to get? Multiply both sides by 2 gives me on the left-hand side? 1,100. I've got an 11 here, and then this stuff. So when I divide both sides by 11, I get 100. Thank you, John. Okay. This gives me 80 plus 10D. So what's my next step to try and isolate... I'll subtract 80 from both sides, which gives me 20. Okay, now I'm at my final step. What do I need to do to get the answer? I divide by 10, which gives me 2. There's just one teeny problem. We know that's not the answer, right? We already worked out earlier that the gap is 1. So why do I have 2? Aha, yes. What I've got is, and you can see it here on the board. That's why I left it there. I've got a return journey. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So this D equals 2 is double what I actually want. I don't want the journey back and then forth, which is 2. I just want the gap between two stops, which is 1. Exactly half of that. So even when you just use a formula and just throw the numbers in, you still have to be careful and cautious with that final answer and interpret it with great care.